Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. So today, uh, Avi, we're gonna get some makeup on this face because that's necessary, but I'm also gonna do a little vacay reflection. So I just got back from a week in Puerto Rico. It was lovely, it was so nice to just unplug and get away. I haven't had a true vacation in so long. And um, we're gonna reflect on what I packed versus what I actually ended up using for an entire week. Uh, so hopefully this will help. I know when I start putting it together my suitcase for vacations, I completely, I'm an overpacker. I add so much stuff that I never touch. This time I did really, really good with my clothing, mostly because um, I knew all I was gonna be wearing all week was bathing suits, so it was really easy to pack. Um, however, my makeup situation, even though I tried to pare it down so much, I still took way more stuff than I ever needed. So we're gonna dive in, we're gonna look at what I actually packed versus what I actually used. Um, let me get started, let me move these out of the way. Oh, also, yeah, I know, I'm Auburn headed now. We're transitioning back to blonde because I just like being a blonde better. I've been a brunette for six months now and I'm over it. So we're going, I do have, the hot roots are a thing. I, um, I've had a lot of hair growth in the last six months, which is lovely, but that meant my roots were really sensitive to any color and whew, did they go hot really fast. So that's okay. We're going blonde anyway, so we're getting there. So let's dive in. As you can see, my suitcase is still in the corner. Um, so first things first, makeup bag. So, so important to have a bag with you that is easy for you to carry around. It's versatile, but also it doesn't get too bulky when you fill it up. This has been my makeup and travel bag for a few years now. It's from Real Technique. It's got a pouch inside with a little mesh side. So everything, you know, even if you get it wet or do something, it dries up really fast, really nicely. It's all waterproof, obviously. Then it's got this really nice pouch for brushes. As you can see, mine is not super clean. Okay, I do, I use this a lot. Um, but the most important thing about this is I can put so much stuff in here. You, I mean, it's really flexible, but even when it's completely full, it's, it stays pretty, it's not super deep. So I can lay it in a suitcase, um, I can put it in a carry-on, and it fits pretty much anywhere. So it fit a lot, but not, it doesn't get bulky and that's so necessary for a makeup bag when you travel. So, like I said, this I've had for a few years now. I love it so much. Um, I'm definitely gonna keep reusing it. Um, now, I was on a tropical island and sunscreen was key, so this was probably the best thing I packed, which was my SPF 50. This one's from Glow Recipe. I really like this one. I don't typically like, um, chemical sunscreens. This has a combination of zinc oxide and I think it's ox, oxinol, the one I can't say with the O. Um, so it's a, it's a kind of a blend. It's less irritating. I just keep it away from my eyes. Chemical sunscreens really wreak havoc on my eyes and I get really itchy. This one doesn't do that. I think because the base is zinc oxide, that's my theory. I'll stick to it. But it's an SPF 50 and I really liked it. Underneath makeup, this is, um, I'll just show you. I already have some on, but I'll show you. This is really nice, really light. And it's got a slight little glow to it. So it, it sets really, really well on the skin. It looks pretty and it doesn't have that harsh white cast. So um, it's, it's really great underneath your makeup. So at least I didn't overpack sunscreen, which was lovely. However, foundations I 100% overpacked. So I took with me, because I don't know who I am. I, I mean, I know who I am, but you know. I took my Revolution Skin Silk, which obviously I love. Um, and then I took my Clinique 
super balanced makeup tint, which I also 100% love. So the theory behind this is I was gonna start the trip this color and was probably gonna get darker, which I did. My face never got darker, but my body does, so I needed to make sure I could match. So I grabbed a darker one. Well, then I also brought with me my MAC Studio Fix powder. I am NW35 in the summer. I love this stuff, and I'm gonna tell you right now, this is all I used the entire time I was there. I took my kabuki brush and I just applied this right on my skin. I didn't do any other type of foundation, just my moisturizer. And I always love the way this looks. Let's get a little color. I love the way this sets onto the skin when applied this way. I never apply with the little sponge applicator that comes with it. I have it, I have used it, but I don't love it. I always now bring a kabuki brush with me and I just apply direct and it, I just, it feels lovely. And when you're somewhere where it's super oily, I'm sorry, super humid, and so your skin, you sweat, you get oily when you didn't think you were oily. Having a powder foundation is fantastic uh, because this doesn't run, it doesn't uh, separate, it, it's just wonderful. Um, this happens to be my absolute favorite. I love Studio Fix. Um, and so yeah, so this is all I needed. So I brought two other bottles for no reason at all. Uh, because I never once touched them because once I and see the thing is like once I got to the island and I saw I, like, I was like oh yeah this weather doesn't bode well for cream liquid foundations so don't need it the next thing I did I brought plenty of eyeshadow sticks because I knew I wasn't going to want to do a ton with my eyes but I wanted to have a little something something in case like you know I didn't even touch them. I think one, I, I no, I, I did on the flight home. Like when I was getting ready to come home, I was like, oh, let me do a swipe of something. Never even touched them the rest of the time on the island because why? I literally was spending every day on the beach. Um, so I don't, I don't need that. So I wish I hadn't wasted the space. Not that they take a lot of space, but I, I really honestly didn't need them. Now my brow gel, I used all the time, especially because once I got to the island, I realized, oh, bangs and island weather don't go well, especially bangs that you have to blow dry and style every single day. Um, yeah, it was not. I would, I would do this to my bangs and like leave the house looking all kinds of cute and literally five minutes out the door, you'd start seeing them curve and go twisty around. And it's like, they're not gonna stay straight. <laughs> so um, it was unnecessary. Uh, so, but the brow um, pomade, and this is my normal 24 hour brow setter from Benefit that I absolutely love. This was lovely to comb my brows in place. And let me tell you, this holds up even with salt water. So fantastic. Um, 10 out of 10, always recommend. Next thing I did bring and um, highly recommend is a good water resistant or waterproof eyeliner. So I've been obsessed with this one by Nabla, Cupid's Arrow. Um, it's pretty much done now, but I have now put it to the test. Oh no, oh there it goes. I've put it to the test everywhere and it works beautifully, be it um, when you're sweaty in humid weather, in the rain. Um, now I use it predominantly only in my waterline, both top and bottom. So I'm not applying this on my lid. And I got, I hate when that happens. It's almost at the very end. I'm warning it because it's going to be gone soon. Alright, we'll make that work. So, I've used it everywhere, 
and it's lovely it stays it doesn't run it doesn't unless I play it wrong it doesn't create dark circles under my eyes and I literally just did this and a good mascara so this is where I had three different mascaras and I'm really glad I did so I took with me all of my tubes all of the tubes um, so I took my Thrive Cosmetics tubing mascara in navy because I wanted a little something something just in case I took my sample of Tartlet the tubing mascara from Tarte which I absolutely love and I took the elf cosmetics um, lash extender which is their tubing mascara guys all three of these did phenomenal the entire time I could wear them anywhere in on the beach while um, I did some what was that called not hang gliding Lord zip lining I did some zip lining um, I was everywhere and these held up beautifully so 10 out of 10 recommend them all I'm gonna go today with the tartlet this one happens to be my personal favorite for I don't I can't really explain why I just really prefer the brush to this one and how it makes my lashes look but as far as like did any of them run um, nope none did they hold up to humidity a hundred percent did I ever get dark circles from my mascara not even a little bit all three of these were phenomenal so again 10 out of 10 recommend I'm glad I brought all three so I could test them all did I need all three no I could have just done one because they all worked really really well so didn't need cheeks wise again I over I overdid it a little bit so I decided to take with me I took a bronzer um, which I'm glad I did because as my skin gets darker, my face doesn't. So every once in a while, it looked it was nice to have a little bit of bronzy bronzy to bronze up my skin. But cheek color, for some reason, I took two that are basically identical. So I took my ColourPop Melrose, which is just this really pretty nude. It's my absolute favorite brush, blush, as you can tell. Um, and then this one by Revolution... Their blush duo, which I have found the blush itself is pretty much a dupe for the ColourPop, which is exciting because my ColourPop's almost gone. Um, this one's a little pinkier, but on my skin, they look pretty much the same. I ended up just using this pretty much the entire time. I brought one brush, one blush brush with me. And I just kind of went into the blush and then also kind of dipped into the highlighter to create a little bit of a brightening blush. So instead of just using it as a, as a blush or instead of you layering them, I just kind of blended them. And I ended up liking the color a lot. It gave just enough glow. You can see it there. It gives just enough glow that it's like, okay, it's pretty. It's got light reflectors, but it doesn't look too crazy. And I'm happy. I'm really happy with it. I wasn't looking to mimic a sun a sunburn or anything. I wanted just something really easy to put on. And that was such a great thing to carry with me. I wish I had just brought the one because I didn't need the other ones. And then, you know, I'm, I'm glad this one didn't break, but, you know, I, I could have broken it. So didn't need to take it with me. And then lips is where <sighs> lips is where I just went ham. And like half the lips I took with me aren't even here right now because they're in my in my um carry-on bag. But I literally brought every lip I thought I might want. My bag was half lips. What like did I think I was going to use a different lip every day? Like, I know me. I like to use the same lip all the time. And then on top of that, like, I ended up having an allergic reaction to something I ate. And I couldn't even put lips on for half my trip. I just used, like, a clear gloss or, like, a chapstick because I didn't need it. So, lesson learned. 
I'm not gonna go hog wild with lips, so I don't need to pack 8,000. Um, the best one isn't even here. I ended up loving um, this orangey Maybelline, that um, lip slick thing, I think it's called. It's a square tube and you shake it up and it's like a glossy that um, kind of stains the lip. And I use that most of all the entire time on the trip. The other one I used a lot was this one from Ulta Beauty, the weightless watercolor. I just was really looking to being um, low maintenance while I was on the trip. And I don't remember... You know, when I'm packing, I think I'm gonna wanna do my makeup. Who knows what I'm gonna, what we're gonna do. And if we go out, and it's like, if we go out, I just spent all day on the beach. I don't wanna put tons of makeup on anyway. So this was, I spent most of my time with this or that other one from Maybelline for an orangier look. And that was it, that's all I used. So I could have saved so much space in my bag. Uh, and that was all I, that's literally all I took with me. And you could see the four things I used. Could have saved so much space in my bag. And it was lovely. Sunscreen, I think, is the A number one thing you have to make sure you have with you. And like I said, that one from Glow Recipe, 10 out of 10. Do recommend. It was fantastic. So hope that helps you all with your vacation plans this summer. As I sit here recuperating in Texas in a storm, I'm like thinking back to my week in paradise and thinking, ugh, I could be on the beach right now tanning and instead I'm inside with lights on and it's like, at least it's warm. <laughs> but always happy to be home, always happy to come back to my bed and always happy to film a new video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this please like and subscribe down below recommend me to a friend if you think anybody you know might like my videos and i will see you in the next one. Oh, and before i go the nails this is the one year anniversary of me finding these and i found them again in puerto rico and i'm so excited these are the olive and june uh nails in their oh gosh i can't even remember the color name but it's the they're orange and oh i am so obsessed i can't i've been looking for these for a year since i found them a year ago at target and i tried them for the first time and then i couldn't find this color again and i finally found it while i was on the island and literally like at a walgreens and i'm like uh excuse me i gotta get those my mom was like what are you doing you don't need nails and i'm like I need those and i'm so glad these scream summer to me and i love them so much and again, I just, I remember how much I like these nails and I applied these with the Olive and June glue uh, and they're holding up so nicely. I've had them on for about um, four or five days now. I did, I went back to work with them and I did typing and they've just been lovely. So if you see the orange from Olive and June, snag them up because they're worth every penny. Uh, anyway. That's it for me, y'all. Have a great day, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.